Tesla stock is destroying another top signal, another bearish pattern, indicating that no, the bull trend is not over yet. So now there is not even the slightest indication that Tesla can correct. What's even more striking is that as Tesla stock continues to rise, its support levels are also moving higher. So even if there is a pullback, there are multiple support levels to hold the price, making it extremely difficult to reverse the bull trend. Remember that pullbacks are different from reversals. While a reversal is an opportunity to sell, a pullback is an opportunity to buy to buy at a discount near a support level when the risk reward ratio is most appealing. So stick with me because this video is going to be interesting. My name is Nathan, welcome to the Finance Hydra channel. So this is Tesla's daily chart. Very, very quickly, the trend is clearly bullish. Tesla is doing higher highs, higher lows, it is above the 21 MA. Do we see any top signal right now? No, there is not a single top signal right now. Last Friday, it tried to do a top signal. What's the problem? This top signal wasn't triggered because Tesla can do top signals every time. However, as long as these top signals are not triggered, the bull trend will persist without a pullback, just like it happened over here. January 7, it did a classic shooting star candlestick pattern, which was totally rejected by the following massive bullish candlestick over here. And this is what's happening right now today, right? We are breaking Friday's high. So we are completely rejecting this bearish candlestick pattern over here, indicating that there is not a single top signal on Tesla stock yet, mid-term speaking, short-term speaking, on the one-hour chart, do we see any bearish signal? No, we are still doing higher highs, higher lows, we are still above the 21 MA, as long as Tesla keeps performing this pattern over here, higher highs, higher lows, the trend is not going to reverse short-term speaking, and we are not gonna see a pullback materializing on the daily chart, period. This is it, very simple situation. Now, what's even more impressive is that Tesla stock is performing such an intense rally while the broad market is also reinforcing this reading. We see the S&P index clearly up, clearly bullish. Even if we see the S&P index correcting, we have the 21 MA over here working as a future support level for it. The trend is still incredibly, incredibly bullish. And even if we see a pullback, the trend will remain bullish. NASDAQ index tech stocks is flying very, very high. We also see it following the same patterns of higher highs, higher lows above the 21 MA. The EMA is pointing upwards over here. So also, what we see here is a classic bull trend. Oh, Nathan, today we are doing a candlestick pattern that could be a hanging man candlestick pattern, right? Yes, this could be a hanging man candlestick pattern, but remember, although this pattern is known as a bearish signal, statistically speaking, most of the time, according to Bukowski's studies, the pattern site.com, just take a look over there, a hanging man candlestick pattern works as a bullish continuation pattern most of the time. I think something around 60% of the time it does work as bullish continuation. So right now, if you ask me, no, there is not a single top signal on the Nasdaq index yet as well. In order for this index to actually reverse, we got to see more... Uh, relevant bearish structures around in order to believe that it could reverse or even trigger a short slash mid-term pullback. And this is it. The trend is still incredibly bullish. And right now, Tesla is in, a, in such a, an important point because if we look at a few indicators over here, we will see that maybe Maybe Tesla is a little bit overbought, right? Because, well, the RSI is around 87, 88 right now. So that's a lot. Clearly, the RSI states that Tesla is overbought. Well, this is not necessarily true. I see some people saying this, but uh, 
Remember, without price action confirmation, it is not going to perform a top signal, it is not going to trigger any pullback, and we will keep going up. Because, as far as I know, just like Tesla did over here on November 2021, the RSI could go as high as 95. And this is it. Okay, we are at 80, 88 right now. So, technically speaking, Tesla still could go up to higher levels. And unlike, unlike on November 2021, on the weekly chart, on the weekly chart, Tesla is not overbought yet from the RSI's point of view, all right? So, technically speaking, Tesla still has more upside left long-term speaking. So, even considering that we are gonna see a pullback short and mid-term speaking, the long-term bullish perspective is still incredibly strong. So, I wouldn't concern too much about a pullback on Tesla right now because, as I always tell you guys, pullbacks are usually opportunities to buy at a discounted price level. And of course, if you want to trade with me, consider subscribing to my newsletters, take a look at my website, the link is in the description of this video. Last month, we had some incredible opportunities to buy Tesla, so if you want to know where to buy, where is the optimal point to buy, where to sell, how to do the right management of your own investment on Tesla and on other stocks, consider joining our community. Take a look at my website. The link is in the description of this video. I gotta say, so far, we are doing extremely, extremely well. Now, still talking about Tesla over here, uh, it is quite interesting to see that Tesla is on the verge of triggering a golden cross pattern. We are about to see the 50 period moving average crossing the 200 period moving average over here. The 50 period moving average is the blue line while the 200 is the red line over here. We are on the verge of triggering a golden cross, indicating that the bear market is about to end on Tesla stock, officially speaking. That's the best, one of the best and most famous indicators that Tesla is on the verge of actually turning bullish again. We already did, Tesla already did an upwards breakout of this flag, bullish flag chart pattern. It already did a breakout of this bullish pivot point on the monthly chart and right now we are on the verge of doing, of triggering a golden cross pattern over here. We almost did a golden cross over here on October last year, however, right now the situation is different and it is much more optimistic. Unlike 2022, we are now way, way above both moving averages, uh, way above the 50 period and the 200 moving average over here. We did a fantastic breakout. We already did trigger a couple of bullish structures on the weekly and monthly chart. What's more, right now the broad market is also looking quite good, unlike in October 2022. Right now, uh, this year the S&P already triggered its golden cross. On February this year, the Nasdaq index also triggered its golden cross on March. The Dow Jones triggered its golden cross in December last year. When we analyze other individual stocks, Apple triggered a golden cross on March this year. Microsoft, golden cross, March this year. Google, golden cross, May this year. Amazon stock, golden cross, also in May this year. Even Berkshire Hathaway did trigger a golden cross on December last year, NVIDIA. NVIDIA, the most impressive stock so far, also triggered its golden cross in January this year. So right now, while NVIDIA is in the first place of this race, Tesla is in the last place. And it is gonna be very difficult to believe that everybody, everybody will turn extremely bullish while Tesla is gonna be the only one who isn't, right? So long term speaking, Tesla is extremely, extremely promising right now, especially because it is in the last place of this race, right? Because right now it has plenty, plenty of upside potential, while many other stocks already broke their all-time highs, Tesla still has plenty of upside, uh, roughly 60% uh, until it reaches its all-time high again. So right now, Tesla is in a very, very interesting position and this is why I tell you guys 
in my humble opinion, in my humble opinion, it is very important for you to subscribe this channel in order to keep in touch with my daily analysis, daily insights, because I'm here every single day to keep you updated on Tesla's price action and click on the like button to support me as well. And this is why I firmly believe that any, any pullback on Tesla stock is going to be just another opportunity to buy because the trend is clearly reversing. The broad market is already bullish. So let's keep our eyes open. I'm going to keep you guys updated on this. Thank you very much for your audience. See you guys tomorrow. Stay safe. Bye-bye.